Hello everyone. A most common question that I get from people is that how do we write a resume in LaTeX? And it's very important because that is the one thing that presents yourself to your employer and you would want to look your um, your resume to look professional. So um, I have something that I use. So I have a class file that creates a resume like this and um, I have a style file so I thought that I'll put it up there so that you guys can use it and I'll explain how to um, go through this so all this code will be posted on our website quicklatex.blogspot.com so you can grab the files from there and open this document this document will be named resume.tech and just forget about this this is to set up the margins and stuff the first thing that you should change is your name. So just say, um, I'll say Johnny B. Good. If that's the name, you change it. And then here we put the date. So this H fill, what it does is that it uses up all the space that you have left in that particular line. So if I run it here, so Johnny B. Good, and this is the date. Now begin resume like begin document because we have the class file that takes care of this. The first thing that you want is your contact information. So this section appears here like this. And then I leave some V space. So this is the vertical space. We want some vertical space there. Then uh, mm, here you put your contact information. So first line will be your um, designation, current designation that you have. And on the right side, you want your phone, email, and website. And here you want your address. So there is nothing much to change. Just look through this, and then you'll be able to change this information. This slash slash, if you recall from other tutorial, this is for new line. So if you want a new line, you just put a backslash backslash. Okay. And this small thing, slash URL, for your website, what it um, does is that if you submit your resume in a PDF file, it will be clickable. So when someone clicks on this, it will open up your website. So they don't have to copy and paste it. They can just click it on the PDF. On the paper, it is as good as any other text. Then you start with your interest and you can list a few interests that you have. Your education, usually what you do is that you, if you are in school, you start with the one that you are currently um, going to school for. So you see the H fill comes handy. So because you put your um, details here, what school, where, and then you put your GPA and um, the time frame for this degree here. Okay, um, what else? So here I, it seems, made a mistake. This should have been the next line. No, no, that's fine. I did not put the name of the degree. So once you put the name of the degree, sorry, and run it. Yeah, here, then it'll look fine. Then if you want to put a section on awards and fellowships, so this is a basic structure of a resume, but if you want to put different sections in there, because I cannot uh, make everyone happy. So this is, for example, my resume, which is based on the student um, resume. So I'm a student, and if I have to um, present myself, I would list the awards and fellowships. It's um, more of a academic resume, but you can change it with any other section that your resume um, should have. So basically the sections will appear here and the details will appear here. And then technical skills, you can put it this way. And um, your professional experience. So for that, what I do is that you put your institution or company name, then it's address and how long have you been working there. Then you specify your first job name and your responsibilities. This will appear like here, this. So for instance, I worked at this institution. This was my first job and these were my responsibilities. So that way, um, what happens is that you get a feel of what it will look like. So you can put your responsibilities and stuff here. So first job name, second job name. If you had two jobs at the same institution, 
you might have multiple um, jobs at the same institute or you might have just one so you can um, keep repeating it for um, and if you want to put more here then you can um, repeat this whole thing from institution for instance if I want to have my job at another institution I'll just copy and paste it and I'll call it institution 2 and if you see I have institution 2 here institution 2 this from this time frame to this time frame and these are my responsibilities for the two jobs that I had here then your projects your project name and your details and you're good to go and your publications if you have publications and your references easy enough right so I am going to put these files on the website download them from there and just copy and paste them and change the basic structure and you have your LaTeX resume ready to be sent uh, sent to the um, employers I hope this will fetch you good jobs thank you for watching this channel and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.